everyone and welcome back to my channel i've been wearing my hair up a lot since it's gotten a lot hotter outside and you know just the weight of longer thicker hair it's like it can like thin out around here if you have it pulled back a lot i was researching some oils that are really good for the scalp promote hair growth and don't just moisturize but actually stimulate hair growth and i came across a neem oil i've heard about this before but i've never tried it so it looks like this i purchased this from amazon doing my research this oil itself really helps with hair thinning because it stimulates the hair follicles and promotes re uh, rejuvenation of hair cells so it's really good to put on your scalp. There's other ways you could use it. I'm gonna personally do a hair mask because I wanna style my hair the next day. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to use it in your own hair and then the results the next day when you style it. So let's get started. For the hair mask, you're going to need almond oil and the neem oil. Start by brushing out your hair. Make sure your hair is completely not free so that way all of the oil can soak into your hair much better. Start with the neem oil and I take a full dropper and put it directly onto the scalp. So follow your hairline all the way to the back of your head where your uh, crown is and your hair is growing. And then start to massage it in. So a big thing is that you really want to work this into your hairline and your scalp. That way it's going to help you stimulate the growth. The more you massage this oil into your scalp, the more it can help rejuvenate where your hair is growing. So for the hair mask, I did take another full dropper of the neem oil and mix it with equal parts almond oil. But I suggest if you don't like the smell of the neem oil, it smells kind of garlicky. I would say just take like a little half a dropper of the neem oil for the hair mask and then do a little bit more of the almond oil. That way the smell isn't so strong. But if you do a full dropper, equal parts almond oil, equal parts neem oil, you will have to wash your hair twice to get the smell out. The smell of the neem oil will go away once you let your hair air dry and you really thoroughly washed it. Okay, so it's the next day and I did notice my hair felt so soft after I did the hair mask and my scalp was way less itchy, way less dry and I didn't notice any dryness throughout my whole hair. So I'm going to go ahead and start to style my hair. I'm using the one and a half inch rainbow curler from Hot Tools. And I just section off my hair into uh, three different sections. And I do curls like every other way. So I do one forward, one back, and I just keep going in sections. Since I am kind of new to using neem oil, I will have to see over the next few months how much it's going to make my hair grow. But right away, my first impression is that it makes your hair really soft. It makes your scalp really moisturized. And then the hair texture, my hair felt like way more rejuvenated when i was curling it it felt like it had more body and more volume and i didn't even put any other product in it other than heat protectant before i started to curl it so i could really tell on the last layer of my hair it was like really really soft and easy to curl the only thing is it did like i said rejuvenate the texture so it was a little frizzy because it got so soft but that's okay because I did feel that it thickened my hair in just one use. Again I have to see over a period of months how long that this treatment will actually make my hair grow and the thickness of it but so far first impression I'm really impressed. It's definitely something that I'm going to be consistently doing now to change up my hair treatments and especially when I curl it, I love the body it gives my hair. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like hair videos, give this one a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!